Picture Europe. It's the early 1900s, and ideas are exploding out of the science community left and right, from groundbreaking inventions to publishings that question the very nature of our universe. At the time, Albert Einstein was nothing more than a regular guy in dingy clothes working out of a patent office. But in that brain of his, a revolution was ready to unfold. Einstein's theory of relativity caused a global sensation, blowing the minds of experts and completely shattering our view of how the world works. But his path to recognition was anything but smooth, dismissed by several leading minds as a radical, if not borderline insane, Einstein faced harsh criticism and fierce opposition, sparking a fierce battle for validation that lasted years. One defining moment, however, presented the opportunity to put all questions to rest. In a daring experiment during a solar eclipse, his most controversial prediction was put to the test. The notion that light itself could be bent by gravity. The results of this experiment would either cement Einstein's place in history or expose him as a total fraud. So what did this pivotal experiment reveal? Are there lessons that we can learn from Einstein's relentless pursuit of truth? And how did this patent clerk's radical ideas spark a scientific revolution? The answer to these questions and more lie ahead. So stick around, subscribe for more. And this, my fellow scholars, is how a mere patent clerk became a cultural icon. My fellow scholars, Today's message is inspired by passages from a publication that can be found on Amazon Audible entitled Albert Einstein, A Life from Beginning to End by Hourly History. This captivating title delves into the details of Albert Einstein's life from his early childhood on through his journey as a pioneering physicist. Audible offers unlimited access to thousands of audiobooks, podcasts, and originals, all included with Audible Plus. And with Audible Premium Plus, You'll enjoy even more perks, including two free audiobooks every month. By signing up for a free trial using the link in the description, you not only gain lifetime access to two free publications, you also support the channel in ways that allow us to bring you even more content just like this. So what are you waiting for? Start your journey of discovery with Audible by clicking the link in the description and sign up today. Now let's get back into the video. Born in 1879, it was clear very early on that Albert Einstein was not like most kids. Even his parents in the beginning feared that he wouldn't turn out to be much of, well, an Einstein. While most babies, for example, learn to form full sentences within their first year, Einstein, on the other hand, didn't start talking until he was between the ages of two and three. He also wasn't very social, preferring usually to spend time alone with his own thoughts. His family, on the other hand, was very close and deeply rooted in Jewish culture, teaching him to always think for himself. A lesson he took to heart and proved to be both a blessing and a curse when it came to his schooling. Throughout grade school, Einstein was always known for receiving very high marks and placing among the top students in his classes. At the same time, however, he also found himself constantly getting into trouble for being a bit of a rebel. He would do things like talk back to teachers, questioning their authority, and purposely venture off into Wonderland whenever he felt the lessons were too boring. This rebellious spirit of his, however, had less to do with him having a need to cause trouble and more to do with the fact that he simply liked learning at his own pace. Even outside of the classroom, Einstein was known for studying and reading books that explored advanced topics in math and physics. Fast forward to age 17, and Einstein has now moved with his family from Germany to Switzerland, where he decides to pursue a college education at the Argau Cantonal School. Here, he got the opportunity to really tap into subjects that mattered to him most. He immersed himself in the works of titans like Isaac Newton and James Clerk Maxwell, allowing his passion for math and physics to truly flourish. A few years later, while studying at the Polytechnic Institute of Switzerland, Einstein met his future wife, Mileva Maric, who was also a student there. Graduating with a degree in teaching math and physics, Einstein believed he was finally ready to make a name for himself. Unfortunately for him, he quickly ran into a brick wall. For two years, he struggled to find positions that were relevant to his studies. Facing financial problems and a need to support his family, Einstein turned to the Swiss patent office in hopes of finally finding secure work. Though he viewed it as a detour, 
Einstein reluctantly accepted the position of technical assistant, a career move that would unexpectedly become one of the greatest turning points of his life. The 20th century was the age of innovation for the science community. In it were brilliant minds like Marie Curie parting waters with her discoveries in radiation and radioactivity. Robert Goddard was building the world's first liquid-fueled rocket, and Enrico Fermi harnessed the power to split atoms. And then, of course, there was our good old Albert Einstein, quietly processing patent applications for people who thought they were the next Thomas Edison. The patent office wasn't all bad, though. Despite the seemingly mundane nature of his job, the work environment at the patent office provided Einstein with solitude. Moreover, some of the patents he came across were actually pretty fascinating, considering they would include entire blueprints on how to build devices that were at the cutting edge of technology. It didn't take long for him to realize his boring job was really a blessing in disguise, as it gave him the freedom to explore ideas and conduct research on his own. So, Einstein dove into abstract topics like engineering, and theoretical physics. He also became friends with other intellectuals in his area, sharing ideas, opinions, and feedback that would prove invaluable to his work later on. Just like that, the seeds of Einstein's own game-changing ideas were sown. In 1905, Einstein presented his first four major publications, the Annus Mirabilis Papers. In it, he introduced the world to what he called special relativity, a groundbreaking theory that completely transformed the way we saw the universe. He made incredibly bold claims, like how the laws of physics remained unchanged no matter the observer, and how mass and energy are one and the same. Mind-bending stuff. From these bold claims came the centerpiece of Einstein's work, his infamous equation, E equals mc squared. This cutting-edge equation taught us that energy equals mass, times the speed of light squared. Now, the speed of light is an enormous number, and when you square it, it becomes absolutely colossal. This means that even a tiny amount of mass can be converted into an immense amount of energy. It's both the secret behind the power of the stars and, unfortunately, the destructive force of atomic bombs. These papers happen to be the first of many that would turn the science world on its head but it would be another 10 years before Einstein shook the foundations of physics once more with his publication, General Relativity. Expanding on his previous ideas, Einstein revealed gravity to be more than just a force created by massive objects, but a distortion in the very fabric of time and space. This concept tied in with his previous works as they together would famously be recognized later as the theory of relativity. In the years that followed, Einstein went on to produce research that was nothing short of revolutionary, inspiring scientists and thinkers for generations to come. As his ideas gained more attention, however, pushback, doubt, and prejudice started to crop up. Einstein was about to learn a very valuable lesson, one that all scientists faced in sharing their ideas, which is that getting people to understand your ideas was one thing, getting them to accept them was another. While Einstein's theories and ideas created a lot of noise in the science world, not all of it stemmed from praise and adoration. After all, by this time he challenged and undone the work of scientists dating back hundreds of years. Who was this Jewish outsider suggesting that light could bend? And how could he possibly prove that time slows down? While it was clear that some viewed Einstein's theories as the work of a true genius, others, however, dismissed them as the ramblings of a patent clerk gone rogue. Initial skepticism towards Einstein's work slowly turned into utter distaste before erupting into outright hostility. Prominent scientists challenged the validity of his discoveries, publishing harsh critiques, condemning him in letters, and even engaging him publicly. This hostility towards Einstein only intensified his dedication. He saw through the piercing words of his opposition and chose to take every critique as an opportunity to strengthen his theories even more. With an unwavering focus, Einstein wrote paper after paper, engaged in live debates with his dissenters, and dared anyone who was willing to find flaws in his research. 
His response sent the world into a frenzy. The science community was stunned while everyone else seemed to be captivated by the unfolding drama. In the midst of all the chaos, Einstein couldn't help but feel a growing sense of fulfillment. Sure, there was the excitement of knowing he was garnering the attention of the world, but to him, there was an even bigger thrill in being able to show everyone a new way of understanding reality. Over time, Einstein's hard work started to pay off. Open-minded thinkers from physicists to mathematicians began collaborating, helping refine his theories and make them bulletproof. In 1919, as World War I unfolded in the background, a group of scientists decided to conduct an experiment that would decide once and for all whether Einstein was a brilliant luminary or the mad scientist that many thought him to be. During a solar eclipse, the position of stars should shift and light should bend the closer they were observed near the sun. On May 29, 1919, a small group of scientists came together to settle the matter once and for all. They wanted to know if Einstein was the real deal. Could light really curve and bend like he predicted? The scientists went on to work in secret, and it would be months before any results were produced. And then the moment of truth arrived. The moment that would decide whether Einstein was a scientific visionary or just another lunatic with too much time on his hands. In November of that year, Sir Arthur Eddington, the lead scientist for the experiment, held a joint meeting between the Royal Society and the Royal Astronomical Society in London. Here he planned to present the long-awaited results of the experiment in front of scientists and members of the press. Tension filled the air as audiences from all over gathered to hear the news. The Grand Hall, usually buzzing with animated discussions and debates, fell eerily silent. As reporters raised their notepads and cameras to capture the moment, the world prepared for an address that would either herald a new era or bring a celebrated theory crashing down. Eddington took to the podium, the weight of the moment made obvious by his calculated gestures. As he carefully opened the envelope that sealed Einstein's fate, the room seemed to collectively lean forward. The delicately torn paper sounded more like a roar as it cut through the silence. The suspense was unbearable. Each second seemed like an eternity. Then, Eddington finally began to read. He summarized the experiment, giving context and sharing its importance before finally concluding, the deflection of light is exactly as Einstein predicted in his theories. As the words flowed from his mouth, awe and disbelief took over the crowd. The results had confirmed that the mad scientist had been right all along. With one experiment, Einstein was given all the validation he needed to solidify his place in the Science Hall of Fame. The patent clerk we once knew had completely redrawn the boundaries of what was possible. Einstein, relieved by his newly achieved validation, knew his quest for truth was far from over. Ultimately, his work paved the way for more unimagined discoveries like black holes, the expanding universe, and the potential for nuclear power, a force that could create or destroy entire worlds. It also presented the world with new struggles, as some took Einstein's ideas and used them to usher in some of history's darkest chapters. In the end, however, Einstein himself had become more than a scientist. Now, he was a cultural icon, a symbol of both hope and fear, depending on who holds the lens. Today, Einstein's name is synonymous with genius, but his true legacy is grander still. It's a testament to the stubborn, rebellious, relentlessly curious spirit that hides within each and every one of us, urging us to keep asking questions, to dive fearlessly into the unknown, and stay curious about the fascinating universe we live in. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy videos like this one, be sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out some of our other videos. We'll see you in the next one.